Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and just welcome if you're new here. So today we're just going to do a nice quick 10 minute upper body stretch. So perfect if you've just done an upper body workout or maybe you do a lot of handstands and your upper body is feeling a little bit sore. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what you thought. So to get started, just come and sit with your bum resting on your heels, then bring the hands to interlace, draw the shoulders down away from the ears, lift that chest up towards the sky, keeping the head in line with the spine, so let the head rest wherever is comfortable, you don't have to tip your head back. Just take some deep breaths here. And then fold your belly down over your thighs, letting the hands drop overhead, bringing the heels of the hands towards one another, maybe wiggling the shoulders from side to side, really opening into the chest and shoulders. Now release the hands down and then bring the right arm up the left arm under coming into our cow face arms so stretching through the triceps the option here is just to use the left hand on top of the right elbow to draw that right elbow down finding that dynamic opposition between the left hand pulling down and the right hand pulling up keeping the head over the heart over the hips so not hunching forwards too much as you're ready release that clasp and draw that right arm across the body so keeping the shoulders away from the ears really pulling that right arm into the chest stretching through the biceps the triceps two more deep breaths here and release, we'll take it straight to the other side. So bringing that left arm up and over, right arm comes around, clasping those hands together, or just taking that right hand to the left elbow, pulling that elbow down, stretching into the left arm. And release take that left arm across the chest hugging it in with the right arm notice whether your shoulders are hunching up by the ears try and keep them nice and soft as we stretch and release those arms come down onto the knees coming into a tabletop position we'll stretch out through the wrists so rocking the weight back and forwards, keeping all 10 fingers and the heels of the hands planted and then turn those fingertips to face the outside edges of the mat and rock yourself from left to right. Taking it gentle, the wrist can be quite sensitive. Now turn those fingertips back to face you and keep that forwards and backwards rocking motion. So the heels of the hands rooting down into the earth. Now bring the backs of the hands onto the mat, fingertips facing towards you still. And once again, just gently rocking back and forth, taking it to the edge of the stretch in your body. And release, give those hands a shake, letting go of any tension. And then coming back to our tabletop before lowering yourself all the way down and we'll take some rolling cobras so inhale to lift the chest exhale release inhale lift exhale lower deep breath in lift the chest deep breath out release now you're going to extend that right arm out to the right hand side then drop the left leg up and over opening through that right shoulder opening through the chest also getting a nice opening through the hips here just taking it as far as you need today 
You can play with the positioning of that right arm, so maybe moving it up and down, just seeing where the stretch feels the most intense, taking it where you need to. And roll back to centre, shuffle yourself if you need to, then extend that left arm, let the right leg drop up and over, stretching through the left side of the body. You can use that right hand to push you a little bit deeper into the stretch. And this side might feel totally different from the other and that's okay, so just take it where you need to on this side. Just listen to your body. And as you're ready, rolling back to centre, pressing up into the arms, coming through a tabletop and then walking your hands towards the feet lifting the bum off the heels and then lowering yourself back into a camel pose. So lifting that chest up towards the sky. You can tuck the toes under so the heels are a bit higher up, it might make them easier to reach. You can let the head stay in line with the spine or let it drop back if that feels okay in your neck. Try and make sure the hips are stacking above the knees so you're not swaying too far forwards or too far back. And then just slowly release. Drop the bum down onto the heels. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist over to the right. Bringing that left hand to the outside of the right knee. Maybe hooking that left arm around for the inner thigh. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Gaze wherever is comfortable. So no need to crank the neck to go deeper into the twist. Just keep it in the upper spine. Release. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Now exhale and circle the right wrist with the left hand. Stretch over to the left hand side. Keep both hips rooting down opening through that right side body. Release, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Sending that breath into the side of the body. And release, bring those hands down to the mat, take them onto the knees, and we'll take some seated cat-cows. So inhaling, lifting the chest forwards, exhaling to round. Inhale, shine those collarbones forwards. Exhale, arch through the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale to lift. Coming back up to a nice long straight spine. Stacking the head over the heart, over the hips. And that is you done for the day. So I hope you enjoyed this stretch. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe.